Once a crown jewel for retail shopping, tonight the Westfield San Francisco Center is pulling the plug on its famed downtown mall. The stunning decision to walk away comes as the city struggles with homelessness, an open air drug market, and the perception of crime. In a statement, Westfield says, given the challenging operating conditions in downtown San Francisco, which have led to declines in sales, occupancy, and foot traffic, we have made the difficult decision to transfer management. I don't come to San Francisco anymore, let's put it that way. It's scary. As other cities like Chicago and Portland deal with major retail closures, the mall's demise in San Francisco comes just weeks after Nordstrom announced its exit from the city center. With nearly half of the stores set to soon be vacant, the future of those still operating is unclear as the nearby Gap shutters and Old Navy plans to soon close. Westfield says sales in San Francisco have dropped 35 percent since 2019, while their mall in neighboring San Jose saw sales increase 66 percent. City officials say remote work and a decline in tourism have changed the dynamic here. And while statistics show robberies have increased so far this year, other serious crimes are flat or down. Though recent crime numbers here are mixed, the image of San Francisco has changed, especially as the city deals with the lack of police officers. Right now, San Francisco is dealing with a level of drug addiction and drug-driven um, retail theft and problems with street conditions, um, and we've got to get our arms around that. Tonight, the retail decline of a major American city as San Francisco pays the price for its struggle over the city's identity. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, San Francisco. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.